The Innova is one of the most successful cars in this country. Of course, that does not mean it competes with the Alto or any other entry-level car for that matter. But consider this, the most basic variant also costs well over 10 lakh rupees. The last update was at the 2012 Auto Expo. And within two years of that, I am here with the new car today. You must have noticed that the side profile is almost exactly the same. The only additions are the graphics and the chrome side moldings. What Toyota has done is add a lot more bling to the front with this new grille and bumper which are both laden with chrome. The update is inspired from the Fortuner as even the chrome garnish strip on the tailgate comes with embossed badging and extra reflectors. It also gets a spoiler along with the Z badge that denotes that this is the new top-of-the-line variant. We're not going to talk about the ride and handling or the engine details at this moment. For that, you'll have to wait for the comprehensive review. For now, let's just look at the interiors of the new Z variant. The door trims and the gear knob gets wooden finish and there are some accents of chrome as well. It gets a brand new touchscreen infotainment system that also doubles up as the screen for reverse camera. But it looks more like an aftermarket fitment as the entire car is light beige but this has a metallic finish. The overall layout of the cabin is the same and the only thing different here is the dual tone leather upholstery. For now, the updates are available only on the GX, VX and the new top-end ZX diesel variants. But we are sure that they will reflect across the segments in the coming months. Summing it up, this is the new ZX variant. It has few more features and is a little more expensive than the V. But overall, the car is exactly the same apart from the changes to the exteriors.